That's how you get rid of a cross-threaded bolt. That's right. Strength. We like to cross-thread all of our bolts in so they stay and never come out. Strength. Mm -hmm. All right, we got all the easy shit out of the way for you. All right, we put the motor in and all that stuff. We're on the fabrication now. The big cheese, the big stinky cheese, the, what everyone came here for. The how to build a chopper fabrication portion. The correct way. The, obviously the correct way, the right way, the only way that we know how to do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, high level stuff here. So, we're gonna get to mounting the fender, building the sissy bar, uh, mount the pipes that are already mounted, and- Mount the tank. Oh, mount the tank, yeah. We're gonna go through those steps for you. The basics. The usuals. Yeah. Using all the high quality parts and products that we have in the shop. Exciting news, guys. Harbor Freight sent us one of these things. Let's see how it does. Oh, it all works. right. Wow. Packaging is lovely. Yeah. Brand new. Ooh. It comes with pliers. What? Harbor Freight, you treat us too good. Perfect. Okay. So, uh, yeah. let's get to welding. The only way to mount your fender is with a flux core welder. That's what I was always taught. You were always taught. Yeah, I always taught that. So, here we go. Let's get to it. Chicken hammer. Okay. All right. Excellent. It's been a while since I've held one of these. Nice. You look good with it. You will. I'll chip. Okay. And this thing just plugs right into your house. So you can really do a lot of this at home. Into your house. In your living room, wherever. Ooh. Delayed. It's quiet, too. It is silent. So you get well while your wife's sleeping. Wow, that's what I thought. Jesus Christ. Perfect. I think it works perfect. All right, good well. Let's get the fender. Let's put the fender on the bike. That thing's sick. Yeah, that thing is sick, dude. That's got your name written all over it. I can't see a thing. This is a teachable moment, I think. Keep all your drops because when you're struggling to build a bike and you're on a budget, you can just tack and weld all of the pieces of your old fender cutoffs together to make a fender. And I like that. That didn't. Work. Hold on. You good? No, we're good, man. It's set to Here you go. See? Line it up. Love it. Tack it up, check it. That's good. You want a square? <laughs> nah, no, no. Square? Right. Just lay that right over there. Well. Uh, this one's a different shape, so I would say maybe. I mean, you could use it, I, would, I wouldn't, because it doesn't look right. Looks like armor. It's pretty cool, I guess. Save that, I would say. Maybe like a boot guard. There you go. Let's get this tack on here. Sometimes tack takes a few tries. All right, here we go. Here's your fender. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yep. Yeah. You ready? It doesn't. I mean, he wanted like a flip up. It's pretty close. I don't know. You think you like it? I don't hate it. Just see if you can get it down a little bit. Good. Get it, keep going, see what, see how far it can go. Nice, nice. Yeah, I think that fits pretty good. Yeah, it looks good. All right. For a chopper. For it, it's a chopper, keep me sketching, All, always. Yeah, that's nice, good. dude. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that'll work. Cool. All right, I got an idea. I needed your help. And you you need my help? And you abandoned me. You want three points of contact on the fender to mount it. The bottom, the middle, and then the back, usually the sissy bar. We're gonna do our first hole, the middle, to mount the fender. Oh, God. Never easy. First time yeah. done. Never easy. That actually cools the bit as you drill. The rubber does. So that'd be the first mount. You can set your fender up with that, and then work from there. Great well. Uh-oh. Blue fuse. Popped it. Blue fuse to what though? We gotta go direct here. 
Sometimes when you're welding at home, you pop a fuse. I'm sure all of you viewers out there have popped a fuse. You garage builders out there. We're garage building right now. Back on. Oh my god. What happened, dude? You're a terrible man. Good. All right, we need to turn the bolt in now. Okay. I think this is how you do it. In? We gotta turn it in, tighten it. Okay. Make sure the bung works. That hurt. Is it hot? I think we need more. We need more leverage. I need another wrench. Put it on the handle, maybe? Yeah, yeah. See, if, see if we can get some leverage there. Okay, ready? Oh no. Oh no. Oh it's no. It's curling back in, it's coming for me. Oh no. As long as you got connection, it works. You know? That's how grounds work. It's on the ground. That's why you did that, I thought. It's on the ground. We're good. It's tightening. Feels great. Tightening good. Mount it! I can't see. People who stay at the arc. Every time I took my thing off, you fucking do it again. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Good well. Fender mount. Flux core, baby. You know how flux core goes. <laughs> I flux with flux core. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. I haven't flux core welded in a long time, dude. It feels good. It feels good to be back at the freight. Since high school. Since high school? Yeah. I don't even think they let me flux core weld in high school. Yeah, yeah. They let you flux core weld? Yeah. I didn't do any flux core welding. We were in the same fucking class. We had flux core welders. Maybe I did. Dude. So you're supposed to go to clean it. Quench it. Hardens it. No, they don't let me flux core weld, I don't think. They don't let me do a lot of things. I don't know where else I would have flux core welded. I worked at a place that I flux core welded at. I beams. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They fired me. No big deal. <laughs> Not a big deal. Yeah. This is where a sissy bar begins. Can I bend it? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. I want to bend. They let me bend things. I bent that piece though, it'll be fine. This thing? Yeah, it's alright. It looks great. Pretty, Pretty strong for not having a finger. Step one, you don't need... Nice. Nice. You don't need fingers to do that. You're welcome. Dude, this thing is sick. This thing's actually kind of sick. Oh my god. Is there a burn? Sound of a whore? What? That sucks. Here come a whack of dudes. Good? Yeah. Is it supposed to be welded to the table? Good? I guess. Easy peasy. That hit me in the hand. Did it? In the fingers, yeah. Dang. Yeah. That'll hold up an 80. That's it, baby. Looks good. Sissy bar. That's how you do it. One simple step. Yeah. How to make a full blown chopper sissy bar. It's that easy. It's super easy. Harbor Freight, thank you. Hey everybody, with us on Click the link above us, click the link in the description, click the link by Craig. Throttle addiction, okay? Chop cult, throttle addiction. Right here. We have all, Throttle addiction has every part you need on their website to build any motorcycle you want on planet Earth. Whether it's a knucklehead, an Evo, a Virago, whatever. They got it all to put it in to a hardtail, make it a chopper, make it cool. And then go to chopcult.com. All the tricks and tips we use in this video, we got it from the forums on chopcult.com. Go there, learn how to build a bike, just like us. From the Thanks. professionals at chopcult.com. Shout out to Lisa. What time is it? Tank time. Tank time. Tank time. I like that. Tank time. I mean, he wanted to keep the mounts, so. Right there. That's all right. You got that? Yeah, I got that. 
That's how you get rid of a cross-threaded bolt. That's right. Strength. We like to cross-thread all of our bolts in so they stay and never come out. Strength. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. What happened, bro? It's a great design. Bro, a, it is a good design. I know that because I designed it. I can do it. You gave it to me to do it because you couldn't do it. No, I can do it. I was just doing other stuff. Because we're so efficient. Yeah. Two rivers part, but then merge back to become one. We need the seat. We need the seat. How is it? He wanted to use this pillion, right? Yeah. We gotta just get it so it's like. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. It fits pretty good. Like that? Like that. Yeah, then you can put your. Sleeping bag. You need space. Space. Cargo space. space. Oh, I need space. But we gotta cut this down, so. Okay. We need the uh, cup wheel. Do you want me to make a mark? Do we? Do you have a marker? Yeah. Yeah, mark it. Get get a bigger one. Bigger one? Yeah, like get it so we can see it. That's good. Okay. Oh, nice. All right. Okay, cup wheel. Yes, doctor. I have a. I have a, I have power. I have power over here. We have it hanging from from the ceiling. We don't utilize it. Our power comes from the ceiling. Yeah. Sure. God. Yeah. I need my gloves. Oh my. Safety first. God damn it. Son of a bitch. I gave it to you. All right. Let's cut this thing. What? Mint. God. Raise raise vestos. Mm -hmm. They'll never know the difference. That's how it's done, baby. Mint. You just saved yourself 350 bucks. And it smells good. And it smells wicked good. Yeah. Reminds me of my graphing days. You got up. When I got up. When you could get it. All up. city, baby. Yeah. Don't say that. What? All city. I thought that was the terminology. All right, let's get it off the bench. Okay. It's like still snow. I just hit the bench by accident. Black Widow Pro. Black Widow Pro. Black Widow Pro. Got my way. Maybe not. I'm doing it on my happy guy. Maybe not. You don't want to get too happy, you know? My baseline is 70%. Ooh, wow. So, like. Uh, Here's 
So when the weather warms up, you're full half. I'm at full on though. Just be available on this side in case I gotta hand you the bike. Okay. Zero brakes. Zero. And I have zero control over the front end. Zero air in the back tire. Okay. I have the handbrake. All right, I'm at the pass. Ooh. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Look how tall this thing is. He's putting shorter bars on. No, he's not. You're right. 